What's up guys, Travis here with Lucky Tackle Box. The hot weather is finally here and those fish, they're moving up shallow, but they can be difficult to locate because you don't know, they're gonna be shallow. You don't know where they're gonna be shallow, where those higher productive areas are, but this can be some of the best time of the year to catch those trophy sized bass. So we're gonna use the Livingston Prime Time 2.0 CB, which is a shallow water square bill crankbait. And now with that, a uh, weedless nose that deflects off cover, you're able to really probe around these shallow water areas until you find the productive areas. Then when you do, that square bill, as it deflects off rocks or wood where these big females are gonna be, you will trigger the strikes and catch some big old fish. So let's break down this technique right now, starting with rig. Right out of the box, I tie this bait on with a Palomar knot to 12 to 17 pound mono or fluorocarbon. Now let's talk about the bait itself. This uh, square bill is actually made of circuit board, which allows this uh, bait to have erratic hunting action, which triggers strikes. Now, the other thing that is very unique to Livingston lures, which triggers strikes, is the EBS technology. You'll hear this bait making a little croaking noise, a little tit 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 tit. That's EBS technology, electric bait sounds. And so that's uh, mimicking the bait that's in the water, which is gonna trigger those fish also. Now, square bills in general are great because they deflect. That square bill, as it hits structure, it blocks those hooks from underneath and it deflects off of it. And when that bait is deflecting, it's triggering those strikes. It, it comes swimming in, deflects, that bass sees an opportunity and strikes. Now, the other thing is that these fish this time of the year, they're gonna be around wood, around rocks. So as you're deflecting that, you're in the areas you need to be with the right bait. So you guys, Let's get out on the water, start doing some fishing, and break down the retrieval. All right, so let's talk about retrieving this thing. Just making little casts, putting your rod tip down, and doing a slow, steady retrieve, you're gonna get this bait diving about three to five feet. And, uh, and then the next step is, I wanna try to bang it into anything I can. So if there's some um, you know, logs, or if there's some rocks and things, I just wanna try, I'm hopefully hitting those things. And right now, I'm trying to stay close to this riprap bank, because I want to bump along those little riprap, that, those rocks and things along the shore here so that a fish thinks it's a little crawdad or something scurrying along the shallows. Um, now, another trick is when you're casting into shallow water or over weeds and you don't want this bait to run, you know, four or five feet deep, what you can do is you can change the angle of your rod. So, as I cast shallow right now, I'm gonna keep my rod tip up as it's shallow, and as it comes down the ledge, I'm gonna drop that rod tip, and now it runs down to that five foot range. And that's a great little technique to be able to fish different depths, so you can find, uh, you know, cause you're gonna cast shallow, you're gonna cast deep, and then a lot of casts you're gonna cast both, and so you can really switch the, uh, the angle of your rod to make that bait run a little different. So right now I'm gonna cast out past these uh, toolies, there we go. We go, and that fish is fat. He is short and fit, buddy. And if you look where, if you look behind me, guys, a nice row of tulies. So instead of being away from it and casting to it, I'm right up against it. And what I'm doing is I'm. Uh, casting all the way along, so that bait is right in front of those toolies the entire time, so it's in a good strike zone the entire time. We caught a fish right at the little boat here. Nothing wrong with it, little guy. So my boy Jake Diamati says, see you later, dude. There's two things I'm looking for when I'm throwing this bait. I'm looking for, obviously, shallow water, and the second one is some kind of structure. Um, a couple examples of that right now, right in here, is we've got the docks. It's a great shallow, docks are great for shallow fish because when the fish want to move shallow, they just move the shallow end of the dock. When they want to get a little bit deeper water, they just move out more towards the back of the dock and they can hang out there. Those pilings can offer them uh, something to relate to. So anytime you find docks, that can be really good. Um, the other thing we got here are uh, riprap bank. We got this rocky bank. That's a great place these fish can move up to. The, the rocks this time of the year, they absorb the heat uh, for these, for the, from these little sunny days. So that will actually uh, hold heat and warm up a little bit faster. These fish can hang out there and get warmed up. And then they can also build their nests in that area as well. As I make my way through these areas, 
Um, I just look for those little pieces of structure. Now we have the rocks where it meets a dock. That's gonna be a high percentage area. So once I find an area that I think I'm gonna fish, I then look for the, the, best, the, the best spots in that area. Now, the other thing I do is, say I go down this bank and don't get bit. Um, I wanna be moving a lot this year. I wanna be looking for those, uh, those fish that have moved up and they're feeding and are, that are active, that are gonna be uh, catchable. So what I do is I wanna try as much different shallow water cover, but in many, as many different places as possible as well. So if I don't get bit, I'm gonna make a run away from here and maybe find, um, you know, maybe a little, I'll fish near a dam or I'll fish near some tules, some vegetation. Just try to find as many different things as I possibly can. I guess, so when you pull up these docks, you wanna hit those corners. These fish are gonna be related to corners, those pilings, they love hanging out in those little pilings and then in the walkways up at the very uh, front of them. But the other thing is, I always focus, and I'm always saying this, focus on the shady side. So when I look at this dock, you have the sunny side on the left-hand side, and then on this other side, that's the side the shade is. So I wanna make my cast along there. Bass love hanging out in the shade on, and on the corners. You wanna maximize every cast, focus on the high percentage areas, shady spots, shady sides are gonna be the high percentage areas. Look at that, guys. This is putting things together here. Um, this is a not nicer fish. I'm gonna kind of swing wide so we don't uh, spook any fish, but look at what a pretty, pretty fish. Look at the belly on him. So we've been figuring out is that these fish are on these little corners. So we got long riprap banks, but we weren't getting bit. There was a little too thick of the weeds to throw this thing in. But once we, uh, once we start fishing these little corners where there's actually a bend in, the, um, in that riprap bank, we start catching little ones. Got a little one, little one stripers, but uh, we just started kind of kept moving and kept targeting every one of those little corners, and now we found a little bit bigger fish. I mean, this fish isn't uh, this fish isn't very long as well, but but holy cow, the belly on him is huge. <laughs> Look at that guy, He's definitely feeding up, getting ready for spawn time. All right, guys. Shallow water fish, when that warming springtime bite happens, these fish move up shallow, you need a search bait like this. The square bill um, deflects off of cover, so trigger strikes, it, it's uh, fairly weedless, so you're able to fish all that shallow water and, uh, and target and entice those big bites. The Livingston um, Primetime CB 2.0 is the perfect bait, came in your box in April, perfect bait to to target and locate those fish. Then once you catch some fish in an area, go back through there with a slower bait, some kind of finesse bait. Once you find those key areas, just throw all kinds of stuff and get all the fish you can out of there. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Travis Moran. If you enjoyed it, throw the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video.